Okay, welcome to our second in a series of interviews at John Robert Powers Boston. Uh, this is Monica Tadros. She's 17 years old from Bridgewater, Massachusetts. And they're just here to talk to you a little bit about your acting background, Monica. Nice to have you in. Thank you for coming. All right, thank you for having me. Uh, you are Polish, I heard. Yes, I am. My parents were born and raised in Poland. They met there, actually. They moved here over 20 years ago. They've been married for 20 years. Interesting. Yes, and I was uh, born here in Boston. We moved to Bridgewater when I was in third grade, mm -hmm. and I've been living there since. Now, are you a senior in high school right now? Yes, I am a senior. Okay, what are some of your uh, expectations and your future plans after you graduate from high school? Future plans? Um, well, I'd like to live out west in the future, maybe go to college out west, perhaps in California, Arizona, that area, since I have some family in Arizona. But I'm also looking at college in Boston, just in case things don't work out exactly the way I planned. Hey, we're always good to have a contingency plan, right? Exactly, yes. Excellent. Well, part of the reason why we're doing these interviews with John Robert Power students is to kind of get a little idea of what goes on with your acting and, and what you've experienced here at John Robert Powers Boston. Uh, one of my first questions for you would be like, how long ago did you start taking classes here and um, what have your experiences been like and with what teachers? I started taking classes here about three years ago in January of 2008, I believe. And I started classes when I was a freshman in high school actually. And the first class I took was with Cheryl Powell. It was a TV commercial class, and it was a great experience. I was very, very shy when I first started taking classes, but I soon opened up. I soon realized everyone's here for the same reason as me, so there's no, no need to be shy. So it was great. Very nice. Any other teachers or classes that you like here or you're taking? I've taken classes with almost every teacher, and everyone has been great. I love everybody. Um, Jim Pettibone, sitcom and drama, and soap and sitcom. Mm -hmm. he, He's a great teacher. He's very funny, open, and he's just great. I've always had a good time with him. Ed Crane, yes, I took monologue with him twice, and he was he was a little tough, but he was good. You know, he he really made me work hard. So, how about um, any other teachers here that you've taken classes that we haven't mentioned yet? Yes, Dave Latender is one of the best teachers here. I think he is very great. He's hilarious. He's always willing to help, and he's just a great teacher overall. I've really enjoyed class with him. So what do you think of the staff and crew here at John R. Powers? Are they very helpful to you? Everyone's really nice here. Everyone is just a, <laughs> like a big happy family, really. I just, I feel at home here. It's like kind of like an escape that I can come to. And I always feel really great when I'm here. So everyone's great. I wholeheartedly agree that everyone here is like really after the student and yeah. taking care of the student mm -hmm. and their needs and their wants. It's everyone's great. Everyone's just dedicated and great. So. It's great stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more about your experience. I know you went to IPOP as well. Yes, uh, I went to IPOP was great. It was an uh, amazing experience. It's not every day where you can go to a convention with a bunch of um, important people in the industry, like managers and agents and people like that. It was it was really, really fun and it was a good experience to go through, I think. So. Excellent. Did it help you come out more, a little bit less shy than you used to Yes, be? it really gave me a taste of what I'm really aiming for in the long run. So. It was a great experience. Excellent. Uh, did you sign with any agencies or management companies? I'm signed with MMG in New York right now, and yeah. I'm working with a manager in LA at the same time. Excellent. Uh, I just have a few more questions for you, Monica. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you have been in or done in your acting experience, like outside of JRP, like productions, uh, mm -hmm. films, theater, anything you've done, performances. Well, since I'm still in high school, I don't really get to go places much, like New York, since a lot of things are in New York, but Boston is becoming, um, you know, a big place for more movies and things like that, which is really great. Um, this past summer, I did two commercials in New York City, since I had no school, so that was good. That's great. I did two commercials. They were book trailers with a production company called Escape Goat Pictures, mm -hmm. and they were both done the same day, actually. Well, in the past, I've done a few workshops over the summer with um, a local college. They were theater workshops, and they focused on technique in the theater, like exercises, and we actually did a few productions, and that was really fun. Mm, I've been working on an independent film recently called Indiana James. I've been working on that since spring of this year, and I've mostly been an extra. You know, I've done a little bit of work behind the camera, which has been a great experience. I think everything about being on set is just a lot of fun, and I always enjoy being there. So, 
Great. It's been a lot of fun. And have you have your experiences on set and in these commercials and stuff help you grow as an actor to appreciate a little bit more what happens behind the camera as well as in front? Yes, absolutely. Because you really see what goes on when you're on set and you see just every aspect of what goes on. And I think that's really, really interesting. And that fascinates me. As, and it does help me grow as an actor. That's great. As we were talking about with Matthew in our interview earlier, uh, we mentioned like uh, behavior on set and how extras and actors should behave. Just in general, do you think there should be like a, a lack of a diva attitude and a little bit more appreciation and I don't know, you know, politeness? I think sometimes actors and actresses tend to get a little uh, heady because they're working with their egos. Yes, absolutely. I believe that you always have to treat everybody on set with the utmost respect and you have to just know that everybody there is just like you are. We're all people, you know, no one's better mm -hmm. than everyone else and mm -hmm. you're all here for the same reason. You're here to make a movie or shoot a commercial or do whatever you're doing. Yeah. And you just have to have manners. Absolutely, as I know for myself, from my own personal experience as a casting director and in casting for plays and movies, that the number one thing is that directors and casting people are people just like you and me and they get tired, they get annoyed, they get grumpy, and they don't want to work with people that are going to be hard to work with. So do, sometimes it doesn't matter how talented you are, it's, you know, you can be full of yourself and think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, but when it comes down to it, it's the person that, you know, may not be as talented, but is the most polite and just has good manners and just is easy to work with. And I think that's sometimes, you know, how certain people get break breaks, you know? You agree? I completely agree, yes. Excellent. And you seem to be one of those people. Thank you. You're welcome. So from my, one of my last questions I'd like to ask you is just like, where do you see yourself as an actress in the future? Or, you know, if, if I don't know if you're involved with any music at all either, so. In the future, I would love to be living out west in Los Angeles with my mom or my dad, or both. That'd be cool too. Um, I love sitcoms and I love movies and I think that being a regular on a sitcom would be just amazing because everybody on you know, TV shows are just like a big family. I think it would be amazing mm -hmm. to, you know, grow each time you make a new episode or stuff like that. So I think that would be really fun, working on a sitcom. Great. Um, last question. Any uh, particular actors or actresses that you particularly like or inspire you to be a better actress or you'd like to look up to? One of my favorite actresses is definitely Meryl Streep. I think she's amazing. She has such versatility and the way she like molds into each of her characters is just very, very amazing and I look up to her, definitely. Excellent. What do you recommend to students of acting? Any pieces of advice you could give them on how to pursue this and, and how to persevere through it as an actress? Well, a wise coach once told me that you can't do it unless you have that fire, meaning that you have to have that passion inside of you and you have to just be willing to take risks and be willing to go for it if this is what you really, really want. That's what I believe is the number one thing. I agree with you totally. That's a good coach who told you that. Eye of the tiger, baby. Eye of the tiger. Exactly. Well, thank you, Monica. Thank you very much.